WrestleMania again and again. And we're back. We're probably going to talk about it because we can remember when. That's right. This week, a very WrestleMania. Remember when? Nope, that's a lie. Not really. <laughs> Not really WrestleMania. But it has to do with WrestleMania. Um, Daniel Bryan <laughs> versus the world. The best triumphant hero moments. What what would they be? We had a really big one. Rock kind of spoiled it. Says it's 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 Brian versus the Authority tonight. Um, what were some other great moments where somebody had to overcome uh, mass odds like this, um, uh, guys? And I know somebody's going to say Stone Cold. I was going to say Stone Cold and everything he ever did. Yeah, yeah, kind of, right? Uh, <laughs> pick pick a specific scenario, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Mm. Anybody? No? Yeah? Uh, I'm trying to think. Because there's like, obviously a lot of them. Because it's, it's a common story in professional wrestling. Yeah. You know, I got underdog mm. overcoming the craziest, like, stacked together, like, you know, mm. odds that, you know, and and only in wrestling and in comic books, I guess those people tend to overcome it. So, Bobby, what do you what do you got? Um, I'm gonna go with the one two three kid versus Razor Ramon. Oh, nice one. Mm, nice uh, one. Nice. He's Razor is basically bullying him his entire run in WWE, and then they had a diaper match, and Razor uh, lost to the one two three kid, and that's how he got his name one two three kid. That wasn't in the mm-hmm. diaper match. What was? No, it wasn't the diaper match. That was part of it. Okay. Well, he was he was just remember there being a diaper that. match. And then and then and then now they're best friends. <laughs> mm-hmm. And now they're the click uh, and they're at the Hall of Fame. I kinda wanna say one of the one major the major thing that everybody talks about, even though he talks about it a lot more, uh if you have The Rock, Stone Cold and Chris Jericho in the same ring. Who would you think would be the world, the, the undisputed world heavyweight champion out of those three? It would probably be between the two, Rock and uh, Stone Cold, am I correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chris Jericho overcame the odds and beat both of them. Yeah. In one night? In one night. Suck it. I don't know, Riz. I mean, it wasn't really triumphant. It was a little underhanded, don't you think? It was a little. rock and stone cold. <laughs> well, I don't mean to rain on your parade. I'm just saying we're trying to think of like a triumphant moment, you know? I'll give you a triumphant moment. That wasn't moment. triumphant? I'll give you the triumphant moment that no one likes to talk about anymore. But it oh, was no. the greatest triumphant moment in WrestleMania history. Oh, no. It was oh, WrestleMania man. 20 Uh-oh. when Chris Benoit made oh, no. him tap out. Oh, no. You right. fucking I took mine. A guy <laughs> I was sitting God next to at the bar got up and yelled into my cousin's face, I don't care who you are, you can't fake that. That's what a grown man <laughs> said after Chris Benoit made Triple H tap wow. out. That was the wow. ultimate. That's the thing? <laughs> that was the thing. It, it was It was pretty fucking of, I was watching it at a bar down in Georgia. And it was – at the end of that match was pandemonium in this sports bar. People – grown men, Sorg, were off their chairs. The entire building was like on their feet, jumping up and down, screaming at the television set like we were there live. It was insane. Nice. Wow. And that bit right right at the very end of the match where Hunter's like almost to the ropes and he does the bit where he tries to roll back over. And uh, Benoit just is still holding on to him, and then he's stuck in the middle of the ring, and then everybody knows he's got it, and it's you're just waiting for him to tap out. So good. I'm sorry I stole yours, LB, but that was the ultimate. Okay. That's okay. I cooked up another one, and uh, and I think this is um, it's not just overcoming odds like storyline odds, but a lot of you know shit in his life, and nobody ever thought he'd get there. But uh, Mick Foley on the night where. Um, WCW tried to spoil his uh, his title win. Oh yeah! <laughs> Damn it, LB, you took mine. That's a pretty good example. Uh, you know, I get one. This is I it, I may sound partial here, but it, it's starting. I 
had a lot of experience with this recently. Uh, and one we don't think about is, uh, uh, and I feel like we're going to have a lot of the same answers here that are going to be stolen. Uh, but think about Zach, Go- Zach Gowan. Mm-hmm. With, with his run with WWE because it was, you know, again, his story to begin with and, uh, you know, Vince and, and, and everything. Um, that, I mean, that's a pretty good one. All right. Mm-hmm. Since since I needed to get another one in, uh, since mine didn't work out pre- pretty well, Santino winning the Intercontinental Champion against Umaga. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. 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 Guy from, from the crowd. The crowd. Santina, Santina winning the uh, Divas Battle. <laughs> yes. Against all odds. Against Triumph. All odds or reason. <laughs> all odds, including not being a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Harvey Whippleman for that matter. <laughs> Sorg. Sorg. Yeah. A equals D. What? <laughs> <laughs> he just put a dick in your mind, son. <laughs> in your mind. Wheels, what about you? Well, LB took mine, but I'm going to go. Sorry. Pretty sorry. It's okay, bud. Any, it's all right. That's why I try to go I'm outside go the box. <laughs> I'm going to go from last night. Paige winning the Divas Championship in nice. her first night. Way to call back their your wheels. Yeah, <laughs> think, think it back. Think it back. You're as good with that. Back, you're you're, you're as good as reaching man. back in your remember memory as I am with ages. We're going to go way back exactly. all the way to last night around this time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on a similar thread, if you remember uh, in the way back, uh, it was a match on Raw. When Where'd the, John uh, Cena come yeah, back? Uh, <laughs> Stephanie McMahon for the uh, women's. Championship. That was pretty awesome. I can't take you seriously with John Cena with that facial expression sitting on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see if John has anything to say. Looks like someone needs an attitude adjustment. Oh, oh take oh, that, Bobby. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John Cena. Oh, Bobby. I won't talk, I won't talk about your father like that again. <laughs> you, if you have little kids, you too can have toys like this to play with, and it won't be weird. <clears throat> I want to cohabit a teacher. Weird, yeah, but well, let's address this. We talked about this in the first half. Is it still weird when you're building a set hey, for hey, WrestleMania? Sorg, I'm here. <laughs> well, well, Sorg, the, so, uh, the yeah. construction Amen. was taken out of my hands, and I was like in arts and crafts mode. I'm like, we got to build a pinata. Well, don't worry. <laughs> hey. Wife of the show's got the pinata. Well, I'm building something. So. Amen. What did you remember when? <laughs> uh, it's all right. We're just diverting. I, I didn't forget about you, Amen. Oh, okay. That's what, what you got? That's, I also can't see you. Oh, wait. And also, we got, we got, we got the, the Hulk Hogan. We got the Hulk Hogan wrestle buddy to counteract. Um, macho, man. The real wrestle buddy. <laughs> that's right. A lot of snuggling going on there. <laughs> when you when you push its button, it says Silver Dome in the crowd. I <laughs> 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 uh, 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 remember. My remember when for overcoming the odds, and yeah, we've mentioned this like three times already on the show, but we're gonna mention it again. Uh, Razor Ramon in general, like the whole idea of like, and I think we've discussed it before, is the when wrestlers go through shit like that and and drugs and and just horrible horrible stuff, like they just die, and <laughs> no one thinks anything twice about it. Yeah, um, yeah. J- you, you just sort of assume that happens because they're wrestlers and, you know, it's the business and then, and, and, you know, especially in the 80s and all that and 90s. And but now Razor came back and, and he overcame a lot of obstacles. Uh, I didn't get to watch the Hall of Fame live, but they showed the recap footage um, and I got a little teary when uh, he they showed the clip of his speech. Um, when he mentioned sort of the idea of, you know, bad times come and go, but bad, bad times. Um, well, I can't remember the exact line, but bad times, um, never stay, but bad guys do. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love that so much. And yeah, that's my overcoming the odds. Remember when nice, nice. All right, I think we got everybody there. Tell us you remember when uh, here on uh, if you found this as a clip on YouTube or in at that email address, good times at wrestling mayhem show. Or uh, dot com, uh, or Facebook, Google Plus, wherever you're finding us, wherever you can communicate with us, Twitter at Mayhem Show as well.